Free Girl here, back with another video for you all. It is another day in Shelf Temba, and here we go. Um, I didn't record breakfast for you guys this morning. It's just toast or yogurt or porridge, really simple, easy things at the moment because that's what we have a lot of. And if I make something interesting, I'll record it for you. But for right now, we're being boring. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos, which is every other day. And I'll catch you in the next video. So I have these leftover tomatoes, which I've been using in salads and things and as sides for dinner, and you've seen. But they're starting to be past their prime. They're not bad. They're just getting a little wrinkly. And a little you know squished so I'm gonna make some pasta sauce so I have some cold ice water going over here because we're gonna be blanching my pot boiling over here on my dirty stove and I'm gonna drop these in for 30 seconds drop them into the cold water and then the peels should come straight off then I'm gonna cut and seed them and they'll be ready to make pasta sauce with now these are just gonna go in for about 30 seconds doesn't look like I have quite enough to cover them all right, I threw them all in so that the water would cover them all. Um, these are actually cold out of the fridge, which I probably should have let them sit on the counter a little longer to warm up. So I'm actually going to give these maybe more like a minute so that they can come up to temperature a little bit and until I see the peels starting to change color. And then I will take them out and throw them in the ice bath. All right, they're off. Oop. Directly into there. Uh, you supposedly be able to peel them like this, but what I'm doing is I'm just going to put a little X in the bottom here, and then you just, the skins just peel right off, and you get tomato like this. And you can see how easy this is. I'm just making a little X in the bottom. It My knife is not as sharp as it should be. I'll put it through the sharpener later. But I literally just grabbed a little end and pulled it right off. It was so easy. I came back later after I'd done all of that, to all of them and cored them and deseeded them and just kept the flesh. A few seeds made it in, I didn't really care. So that's all I'm doing. Straight out of the hot water into the ice bath and then a little X on the bottom and peeled. Quick, easy, and there they are. Don't they look really pretty? The, they changed color as soon as they went into the water and you could tell. And you can see there's a few seeds in there but they're mostly deseeded and all cored and all of that's out of there. Into this, I added salt, pepper, oregano, basil, parsley, and that pizza palooza spice that I'm still trying to use up. Um, salt and pepper to taste. Whatever you want, really. This is what I had, so this is what I used. And then I did onion. I browned that in the pot, threw some garlic that I chopped up in there, threw the tomato mix in, and just the pot there a little bit. Cooked that down and threw it into the Thermomix to be blitzed up until it was thick. Added a bit of cream to give it that creamy texture and that cheesy feel without having any cheese to add to it. And then I decided to cook up a couple of sausages and chop them up and throw them in there for some extra protein. You could also do lentils. I did have some, but I had some sausages that needed to be used up. And this is what I fed to the six kids that were in my house and myself. All right, so I am just mentally exhausted tonight. And I got to get dinner done quickly. Hubby's going to have some whole grain two-minute noodles from a food parcel we got. And for the kids, I am going to do toad in the hole. Usually I do toad in the hole with an egg cracked in the middle of the hole of the bread, a little bit of cheese, fry it. But that's going to take up too many eggs and we are broke and tired and we're going to do this the Great Depression way. So I'm going to see if I can get probably two, four, six, maybe seven or eight um, of these out of four eggs because I'm going to make scrambled eggs and pour that into them. And I'm going to use a little milk. I don't usually add milk to my scrambled eggs. I just add butter. But we're going to add some milk to make it go a little bit further. And I have this little bit of leftover cheese that I'm going to use, try and make work. I also have a bunch of these loaves that don't fit in the freezer so we're going to be using these. Just going to quickly scramble these up with some milk, salt, pepper and garlic powder because that's how we like our eggs here and there we go. Yep. So I've buttered both sides and used a, I think it's champagne glass, wine glass to pop out the holes. We have our scrambled eggs with a bit of milk 
the kids have asked me to season them like Mom. I do my normal ones. So salt, ah. pepper, and garlic yeah. powder is going to go in there. Ah. And then we're going to cook these up. This is tasty as cooked in butter, but if you don't have it, you could use bacon grease or uh, vegetable oil or something. I used the last of our butter to do this. And there's the first round there. Kids were very happy. All right, so the kids have, I made, end up making 10. I got 10 out of four eggs instead of the same amount would have done 10 eggs. So it's definitely um, more economical. The kids really liked it because they really like my scrambled eggs and fried bread is always a win. And I've actually got one, two, three, four, five left over right now. I had a little bit of scrambled eggs left over, so I scrambled that up for the baby as well because he loves scrambled eggs. And I'm sure the kids are going to come back for thirds. Three in a minute. sticky date puddings with caramel sauce and a little bit of thickened cream over the top for the kids. All right, it looks like a mess, but I have a big chicken breast over here, about 500 grams, and that is going to become chicken loaf for school and um, hobby lunches. We have another giant chicken breast over here that I've cut the skin and put the skin back on because I am going to cook this now in a fry pan, slice it up thinly and have it with that ramen broth that I made earlier in the week and some rice noodles, some shallots and whatever veggies I can find and that's going to be my dinner. And then this is going to go away because there's still some great meat on this. I'm just going to season this with salt, pepper and some roast chicken seasoning because it's my favourite. A little bit of oil, fry that in a pan and then I'm going to do the rice noodles, some green onions, some cabbage and pour the leftover broth that I have from another meal over the top and there is my dinner. Quick, easy, really high in protein, high in sodium which is what I need and some good carb. And there it is, I added some cabbage because I don't have any um, bamboo shoots or bean shoots so I'm going to use that for crunch. I've got my green onions got my chicken cut up I have my noodles underneath that I already cooked and just in some uh, boiling water and a little bit of chili to make it spicy hey, it's Emily back again it's the next day I forgot to record an outro for you last night but the kids really loved their sticky date with caramel sauce puddings from Jenny Craig I just a little bit did a little bit of thick and cream over that for some moisture and some cool creaminess especially to cool it down for the baby um, I have a couple more of those, so I'll bust those out again sometime this week for a treat. Um, the faux, faux-ish is what we called it, was really, really good. It's really what I needed. I needed something super filling. Um, I need a lot of protein and iron at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's what I went for. And hubby had his two-minute noodles. That was a quick and easy night for us. I used up that leftover stock slash broth that I made for the soup last week. I used up some of those Jenny Craig things. I used up a loaf of that bread. Four eggs instead of ten eggs, so that was definitely a win and the kids really liked it. And two of those chicken noodle um, noodles out of my cupboard. Oh, and the rice noodles for the pho and some more of that cabbage because we have so much. So yeah, getting through things, getting things done. Catch y'all in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you like this kind of content. And click the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. Mm -hmm.